Today in solo queue we are back. And it looks like we are being forced again into a role that I actually like because I play a lot of marksmen. And I think I haven't played Melissa in a long time now. So this is a win-win situation for us. Plus Melissa and Yin has a thing now as per Moonton, right? Hmm, this is gonna be interesting. The enemy has Fanny and I have an ultimate that should keep her away. So I hope she attacks me a lot because I really want to test that out. But first of course we gotta head to our lane which is the gold lane and hope to reach level 4 without any problems at all. Unlike our Aldous who is a mid laner while our mage is in the XP lane, okay. Meanwhile I see that I have to deal with a girl with 4 guns here. But that is fine because all I gotta do is spam my skill too and she should not be able to do anything about it, right? In fact, if we play aggressive enough, we might be able to take her down really early, but not, not this early I guess. We just have to wait for her to leave the safety of her tower of course. In the meantime, there's our Fanny. I've been waiting for you. It doesn't look like she's heading over here, but I'm liking how aggressive she is. But you know what? Maybe she's here or maybe it's Diggy Boy who is here. What are you doing here anyways? Did you finally figure out that your marksmen need help against me? Or maybe you're being a douchebag and you're trying to steal gold and XP. Come on now Tiggy Boy, you're better than that. You know what, I don't think I'll ever kill this Beatrix here because she really loves staying under her tower. And that is a really good move if you're getting harassed in your lane but I can get some gold at least from the turret plates. And we can go back to hiding here but only until Beatrix shows herself and takes a lot of damage from us. But of course it's still not enough for me to kill her. So what we're gonna do is we're going to run to the middle lane and ask our Aldis for some help. And the only way that this overly exercised right arm guy is gonna help us is if he's not busy. So let's help him out by scaring the enemies away and look what we have here. It's a Beatrix who is too far from the safety of her tower. I mean I don't think that we can get there in time to secure the kill but at least our plan worked. And now we can enjoy even more tasty gold from the turret plates but we gotta leave now because Beatrix doesn't look like she's happy. And now here is Fanny destroying our team not until I pin her to the wall like an Akai would. Oh, I'm surprised that it's really really effective. But I guess it wasn't effective enough for us to secure that kill. But wait a minute, what's over there? Never mind, it's just a dead Tigril and a raccoon who ran really fast. But that is fine because that's how raccoons act if you catch them eating trash. Meanwhile, it looks like Mark here is enjoying our acupuncture that it made Beatrix a little jealous. I think she wants some as well. I mean, she could have just asked me if she wants her pores to be poked by my needles. But for now, I'm just going to help our teammates grab this turtle soup because they're taking way too long and they let Nana steal it. Shut up Fanny, get out of my comfort zone and why is this Tigreal bashing his head against my force field? Come on guys, let's get out of here. I can only protect you so much and I don't think I can protect you against Beatrix's bullets. So in short, you guys are on your own. Uh oh, I don't think the enemies were too happy that they couldn't get us earlier, that they focused our healer. I'm sorry Mr. Estes, I don't have my ultimate yet. Shut up Molina, I'm trying to do my job here. Can't you see that I need to defend that tower against your master which is that raccoon and also this Tigreal. What the heck is happening here? Where did that guy come from? Does he have like a Natalia skill or something? Am I playing hyperblend here? Hey Ricky, I'm not playing hyperblend am I? Also, what is your wisdom for us today? Yeah Ricky I agree, you really have a way with words don't you? But now I gotta help our teammates against this Fanny again. And it looks like she knows that every time I have my ult she can't do anything aside from steal that turtle again. What is our jungler doing? I guess I can't blame our jungler, he's yin, his specialty is kidnapping people and not turtle soups. Or maybe he doesn't have a specialty. Dang, I gotta say that that Fanny has some nice moves. But so is our Aldous it seems. His only move though is to commit Sudoku in the enemy base. It's totally worth it. She got Fanny. And I don't know what I was doing but I think I was just running around there watching Aldous and Fanny. So let's get to work and defend our mid lane against these enemies. And as long as the Tigreal can get to us which he can't now because he got kidnapped we should be safe. Let's just wait for them to 
finish their business and it looks like Yin needs someone to finish the job for him. In the meantime, we have another one of those shotgun Beatrix. It's getting really annoying. I mean, are they ever gonna nerf that or are they waiting to put on a collector skin first? Wait a minute, I think we should chase that fanny because our ultimate is almost up and I see an invisible Tigril, I knew it. That Tigril is really playing hyper blend game mode. And it looks like he was after our alien lady friend here, who I think I'm seeing for the first time on my screen. Ouchie, take it easy with your shotgun spamming, Beatrix. It's a good thing we had our ultimate, and Thamus is in slow motion, I guess? That was really painful to watch, but not as painful as the damage that Aldous took from the fanny, and I don't think I should be chasing that tank, he's a tank after all. And I can always just focus on getting an objective, just like this tower. Uh oh, the flying saucer murder machine is after us. But I don't need to outrun her, I just need to outrun our mage. Meanwhile, the fight is not over and everyone's still hanging out in the middle lane, just like Brawl. And how many times do I have to do this ult in front of you Fanny for you to stop cabling around me? But I guess it doesn't matter if our teammate decides that he wants to jump into three enemies. I think I saw Fanny in this area, yeah that's her and she's invisible too. Too bad your cables can't turn invisible, otherwise that could have been a successful surprise attack, oh crap. That's a lot of damage from that Beatrix and I really need to get out of here because I'm getting surrounded. Is this Fanny going to attack me or is she just gonna stand there and take needles to the face? So I guess I'll take advantage of this dead Fanny opportunity to take down this bot lane tower. So we can get in position here in the top lane and maybe clear the minion wave first and wait for a team fight for the Lord. Actually, it has already started. Hopefully, we are not too late because one of our teammates already died. But that doesn't really put us in a disadvantage because as long as I have this force field, nobody can get close to me. Except of course Beatrix annoying bullets. Hey Aldous, you got her. Finally, nice kill on that. So maybe we can do the Lord now. I mean, two enemies are dead, and what's Fanny gonna do without me having my ultimate? Of course kill me, that's what she's gonna do. I really wanna join you again in the mid lane to pointlessly fight the enemy team, but I need to get rid of these minions first, otherwise they're going to destroy all of our towers. But now that our job is done, we can take our position close to the Lord again. And there's a bunch of enemies here. It's a good thing that Aldous used his ultimate and he spoiled their surprise. And he also one-shot Beatrix now. So that's great, one less ranged enemy to deal with. And we can turn this Thamus into a porcupine. Now the Lord is available for the taking, but I'm afraid that Fanny might try the same thing that she did earlier. So be ready guys, I don't think they're going to give up on this lord easily without trying to steal it. It's too bad that Fanny went splat on my force field again. And we also got this tanky tiki boy trapped and Yin even kidnapped him, that's, that's overkill. Oh look who's back, it's Fanny again while four of her teammates are dead. I think she's just trying to distract us guys. Don't mind chasing her, that's what I would do. And what I would also do is get her red buff so that she gets annoyed more so that we can lure her into attacking us so we can turn her into a ref magnet and stick her to a wall. And now that Fanny's dead, we can go attack on Titan style on their mid lane tower. And we're not gonna stop there because we have a lord that'll help us take down another tower. So I guess this may be the right time to finish the game. We have a lot of minions, we have a lot of teammates here, but we didn't have a lot of time to get in position to have a proper victory selfie where we are facing the camera. But I guess Melissa backshots are nice too. And that's gonna be our Melissa game. I think it's the 8th time that we have played her since she got released. If you saw my win rate at the start of this video, you would know that that is true. I mean, she's strong and all, I just don't like the animation I guess of her attacks. It feels weak since she's only using needles. But yeah, why do you guys think she's not popular right now? Leave it in the comment section below. But as for this game or this video, that is it for me. Again, my name is Shinman Takizo. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Hit like if you enjoyed this Melissa gameplay. And also check out our recent uploads for the many and different heroes we played in the past. If you want to see me play a specific hero, you can always search on YouTube for Shinman. Plus the hero name and at least one video should pop up. Remember 
to subscribe for more videos like this in the future and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.